All right, music fans and fans of uh, reality, welcome. Harmless Dave here talking real music and uh, real other stuff and doing so in real time for real people, just like you and just like me. All right, <clears throat> so let's revisit Lisa Marie Presley's death, all right? Um, by the way, just saying that out loud is insensitive and I'm apologizing. Just think of me as apologizing as I speak, okay? I'm not trying to be condescending. I'm just saying there are people who say you're not allowed to talk about these things because it's insensitive to do so. So right out of the gate, I want to apologize for being offensive to everybody. For the rest of you who can handle, talk about Lisa Marie Presley's death, I wanted to give an update. So let's take a look. All right, so according to Fox News, and uh, <clears throat> again, fair and balanced coverage, <laughs> not. Um, they dropped that years ago, by the way. Lisa Marie Presley's cause of death deferred, deferred. Now they had an autopsy, so I'm not sure why the cause of death was deferred as the investigation continues. Now, um, look, for the people that say it's insensitive, well, you know, there was this big memorial that they had with Axl Rose and Billy Corgan from the Smashing Pumpkins, Alanis Morissette. Oh man, some of my favorite musicians of all time, right? I think she deserved better as far, I mean, these are the people I think she hung with, which was kind of weird. Um, I think there are other people there, but they highlighted the Smashing Pumpkins, Alanis Morissette and Axl Rose. Hey, I'm kind of an Axl fan, right? I'm okay with, Guns and Roses, sure. All right. Kind of a strange pairing, but Lisa Marie Presley, I think, was always trying to get out of her dad's shadow, which is impossible. That's that's impossible. It's not going to happen. But, you know, um, for those who say it's insensitive, well, they were celebrating Dave. They were celebrating her life. Now you're just picking things apart. You're going to make things horrible and they need privacy. Okay. Remember at the beginning of all this, when people said, if you don't do this, then you don't care about your fellow human beings, all the protocols and all the rules. If you're not willing to go five foot and 11 inches and three quarter inches away from someone else, right? What was it six foot? The six foot rule, huh? Why six feet? Why six feet? I don't know. Is it scientific? I don't know. Nobody knows, right? But you, you just, everybody's, okay, okay, sure, I'm going to do it. Um, and people did it. And it was ridiculous. And they painted circles on the floor. And then, then they had arrows in the supermarket directing traffic. Because, you because you know, you had to go with the flow. You couldn't go against the flow. Because then, oh, no, <laughs> you might crash into each other. And that could result in a big outbreak, right? If you guys crash, then you heard about the spreader events and so super, super duper spreader events. Um, none of the protests though that they had that summer, none of those were considered super spreader events. And I'll say something on behalf of Trump, all of his rallies though were considered, oh no. <laughs> so, um, Anyway, speaking of, so so before we move on to the next person here, which I think is very significant in this, not a music-based person, but a YouTube celebrity like yours truly, except um, much more important than me. Um, so it says that Lisa Marie's cause of death has been deferred and they're going to do more investigating and they're going to farm out some of their results to find out what it means. Um, here's the tinfoil hat part of the presentation. I'm thinking they found something and they don't want to tell you just yet. They want to try to find maybe another cause, another reason for what happened to um, Lisa Marie Presley. That's just me speculating, okay? And folks, it would be so much better if this wasn't happening it would be so much better if this was just 100% um, conspiracy. But you got 
some pretty big names out there like Dr. Peter McCullough, Dr. Robert Malone, Dr. Ryan Cole, okay? These guys are pretty smart. And there are a ton more people that were screaming, shouting from the rooftops at the beginning of all this and saying, no, don't do this. But full steam ahead, man. You know, Operation Warp Speed. So let's go over to Operation Warp Speed. Donald Trump, right? Two of Trump's biggest, and I'm talking biggest supporters. Um, in fact, they became YouTube sensations after uh, Megyn Kelly tried to take out Donald Trump in one of those early debates where, you know, she was talking about Rosie O'Donnell or certain women um, that, and Trump has described women in a certain way. And she went through a list of superlatives or adjectives or whatever. And Trump's like, but it was only Rosie O'Donnell, right? And the place went crazy. But Diamond and Silk, who were unknowns for the most part, got on board the Trump train and uh, they were doing just daily takedowns of the media, takedowns of uh, certain people who were against Trump, uh, making fun of all of those characters that ran against Trump. And that's why Trump won, by the way. He was at least entertaining. He was entertaining. He was funny. And the media was just like drawn. It was like a moth going to the light. You know, it's like, oh, here's Trump again. We need to follow him. <clears throat> we see dollar signs. And so Diamond and Silk had this amazing channel. If you were a huge fan of Trump, you would tune in to hear what they had to say. In fact, I'm pretty sure they were out on the campaign trail quite a bit, and they would speak at Trump rallies. We're talking both of them. Unfortunately, folks, only one of them is here now. Um, Diamond, who was known as Lynette Hathaway, mysteriously passed away. And what's interesting is her sidekick, Silk, has said something pretty provocative, and the media doesn't like it. Silk says what happened in Diamond's final moments <clears throat> is a warning to America. Something ain't right, spoken in true Silk fashion. Now, Silk was kind of like the sidekick for Diamond. Like, Diamond did the majority of the talking, and Silk would go, uh-huh, like that. And it was, I loved, I, I did, admittedly, I watched them because I just found them very entertaining. And... I didn't agree with all of the politics and I didn't, and, and folks, this is a primary example right here. And I'm sure when Donald Trump said something, Diamond and Silk said, okay, I mean, hey, he's kind of like our boss, right? And of course we're gonna do whatever he says to do. And Trump goes out there last week and says something like, oh, this is the greatest thing still. I saved millions and millions of lives and it would have been like uh, uh, 1918 or whatever. You know, he goes back to the Spanish thing and he tries to make, you know, conflate the two things and he tries to take credit. He's still trying to take credit. So let's, um, let's hone in though on um, what Silk had to say here. Rochelle Richardson, known as Silk, was at her sister's side during her passing. The cause of Hardaway's death was not revealed at the time. The world just lost a true angel and warrior patriot, patriot for freedom, love, and humanity. Please respect the privacy of Diamond's family. Memorial, <clears throat> it says, memorial ceremony to be announced. The celebration of her life. I believe might may have already happened, um, and it was, I think, last Saturday. And guests included former President Donald Trump, my pillow founder, Mike Lindell, and uh, former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development dude, Ben Carson, Dr. Ben Carson. In the clip below, and this is on a particular website here, 
Silk delivered a riveting account of what happened in the moments before Diamond's unexpected death. Here's what she says. She began, as soon as Diamond hung up the phone, she said to me, I can't breathe. It was sudden, out of nowhere, and no warning. So it sounds like she was on the phone, she hung up the phone, and she couldn't breathe. This isn't, this is just horrible to read this. I got her to the kitchen table, opened up the back door so that she could get some air. And each breath was less and less and less until her eyes became a stare. My husband and I followed the 911 instructions. They said, do CPR. And it was one, two, three, four. My husband and I alternated and kept going and going and going until the EMS arrived. They did everything that they could. But what I wanna to say to everybody is don't you dare call me con a conspiracy theorist because I saw it happen. I saw how it happened. I was there when it happened and it happened suddenly. I want America to wake up and pay attention. Something ain't right. It's time to investigate what's really going on here and get some answers to why people are falling dead suddenly. Okay. Um, I Look, when people say what, what are they gonna say about, well, it's anecdotal. You weren't there. What, what, what are you talking about? This is what I mean by reality. You're a reality denier. She's telling you what happened. What's her motivation? She wants to go against her old boss? Don't think so. Apparently, according to an inside guy to Trump and um, what was said to Trump, Jack Posobiec, a guy who's really very popular on Twitter. I think he's got his own show. I think he runs a publication called Human Events. Um, he's a sharp guy. I don't agree with a lot of what he has to say, but he is very savvy and very media um, involved. You know, he's he's media savvy and he's busy all the time on Twitter and on all other social media platforms. Anyway, he said that she told Trump something that Trump didn't want to hear. Basically, that something caused this problem. And she knows that it caused this problem. Now, again, if you really want to pick this apart and say, well, she's not a doctor. And are they going to do an autopsy of Lynette Hardaway? Are they going to do an autopsy? I don't know. You know, and it would be smart if they did an autopsy and they got to the truth. Same with Lisa Marie Presley. I mean, deferred. It's deferred. Almost as if like, okay, again, this would destroy what we've done for the past three years to people, it would destroy the idea that government knows best and that the medical industrial complex should be in charge of your life. And people who are just like, yeah, I just do it because um, why would my doctor, this is a great one. Why would my doctor tell me to do this if it was a bad thing to do? How about um, financial incentives? How about maybe the doctor knows about certain things, but the doctor is not all that knowledgeable in other areas. And they receive a statement from their superiors. They receive information they're basically given directives as to what to do or how to deal with something. And they just do it. They just follow orders. Where have you heard that one before, right? Oh, okay, now he's gone way over the edge. Oh, okay. Well, you look back and read history and see um, the excuses that were given. Well, I was just following orders. Just following orders. Look, I pray in every fiber of my being that this isn't happening, but it really looks like it's happening. So what's the responsible thing to do? Is it to ignore it? Is it to apologize for it? 
is it amnesty? I heard that. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay, we were wrong, but we need to kind of chill and not really, you know, go after anybody who who told everybody to go ahead and do this. Really? There's this little thing called accountability, and it isn't happening anywhere. It's not happening in media. It's not happening in government. It's it's not happening in the medical community. It's not happening on Wall Street. It's not happening at the Federal Reserve Bank. Okay, there's five. Oh, I forgot about foreign policy and global, I don't know what you want to call it, domination, because we have to be everywhere to do everybody's business all the time when the founders of the country said no foreign entanglements. Very clear. So in any event, people, it, is, is this nothing? Is this, we, can we just admit that it's something? You don't have to agree with what it could be, but it sure looks like it's what I think it is and what most people think it is. And if you go off this particular platform, you can find information. But then what you get is the government trying to ban or censor or like Ryan Cole. I mentioned him. I think they're trying to like destroy that guy. And he was the guy that said, hey, I think there's a way to deal with this problem that doesn't involve waiting for a solution that is maybe in need of a little bit more examination, okay? Trying to be careful, who knows? Um, by the way, I'm talking about this stuff does not really drive this channel. I don't get like 100,000 views on a video. I will watch upstart channels who haven't yet been singled out as problems, I'll see these upstart channels and they'll just zoom right by me. And I'll sit here and go, wow, <laughs> I've been doing that kind of content for a long time. And, you know, maybe I'm not as well-spoken. I don't know what the issue is. I'm pretty sure it has to do with, first of all, like the video, algorithm, share, do all those things. I mean, you can't algorithm, but the algorithm will pick up on people liking the video. And they say things to you like, yeah, this will extend the video's reach. Now, I know, you know, if you're tuning in again to hear about uh, what Neil Sean is going to do next to Jonathan Cain, that's coming. Don't worry. But um, maybe just think about some of this stuff. And look, I don't care if you did it or you didn't do it. And I don't want to try to scare people. If they did do this thing, there are things that you can apparently do to kind of safeguard things, hopefully. But again, um, you had one woman, 54 years old, Lisa Marie Presley. The other woman, 51 years old, Lynette Hardaway. They're gone. They're gone. And so to respect their memory, we should just not get to the bottom of this. That's what they're basically telling you. Don't try to get to the bottom of it. Don't worry about it. Just honor their memory, um, well, Lynette's sister, Rochelle, she's she's pissed off and good for her, good for her. I mean, she should have walked right up to Trump and told him to knock it off because he's still out there. Oh, I, I saved billions and billions of lives and would have been, you know, again, stop it, stop it. Um, I got news for Trump. I mean, <laughs> he's gonna have he's gonna have some trouble running for president again. He is. It's not gonna be like 2016. And it's not because there are other great choices out there. Um, there are other choices, and people will say, okay, we can have one guy with baggage over here, another guy without the baggage, one guy who's humble over here, and one guy who's really into himself. And apparently a lot of people follow just for that reason. We've got a lot of big problems in the country. And I don't know. It doesn't seem like anybody in government uh, is really speaking directly to the needs of the American people. It's it's getting worse. It's not getting better. All right, folks. Um, I've gone way too long in this video. 
Again, support the channel if you can. Memberships on the channel, $2.99. That's really easy. There's a button there. I think people like that. Maybe Patreon is a little too difficult to figure out. But a lot of good conversations over on Patreon, people sharing their experiences at concerts and their little insights about Steve Perry and Greg Raleigh and all of the journey turmoil. Um, it's just good stuff over there. And you can do that for a dollar a month. Again, my name is Dave. Thanks for watching, and I will see you very soon.